What's up, y'all? To preface this video, I just want to say it's kind of mixed with Instagram stories and it's mixed with vlog footage here and there. I did a terrible job at recording while I was in Japan, so I really want to apologize for that. It was a mixture of things being so chaotic, kind of confusing, and just me wanting to enjoy the moment where, you know, I just didn't feel like vlogging the whole time, but I was able to get some clips here and there of certain days, my favorite parts. So we're gonna do a little voiceover here and there, and I hope you guys enjoy, so let's get it. We're on the way to Japan, baby. I've never been to Japan, so this is my first time, and I'm super excited. I don't know what's in store for this. All I know is we have a super long flight. I think it's like 16 hours or something, and I'm not looking forward to it. Upon arriving, I felt like my whole life has been a lie and we just hit the reset button and we were starting fresh in a new area that I've never seen in my entire life. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video. A little bit different, if you guys can tell by the background. We're out here in Osaka. We got Francisco, Yo. we got Joshi, Yo. and today we're just gonna be exploring. We do have uh, Universal Studios to hit today, but before we hit that, we're gonna find something to eat. We don't know where we're going, we're just kinda getting lost over here, but I'll show you guys Japan. It's my first time here, so let's check it out. Ooh, they got Atmos here. What? Okay, Atmos. So far, it seems like everything's super photogenic. Um, all these streets. They got Supreme. All these posters. All these everything. Like, it's just, it's different. So yesterday, it took us like 19 hours to get to this area right here. It, it was, it was a, a long mission. But let's go get something to eat store here it looks like a JD sports I can't it says ABC Mart I don't know what it is but I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek y'all let me know what's inside <laughs> y'all see anything <laughs> any heat in there yes or no comment down below where's Francisco where's my boy at I don't know damn this boy getting pictures okay let me show y'all the streets here. Kind of like a downtown vibe. All the cars look so cool, look at this. Ooh, they got a Nike store right there. This looks like our type of area. Okay, so one thing that I noticed so far is in Japan, everyone walks on on the left side, so it's a little, little different out here. Some slight differences. And then when we were in the train station yesterday, everyone that was going up the escalator, they would all like stand to one side to let other people go up if they need to get by. So pretty cool, a little different. So we're trying to find food and we ended up uh, coming in the 7-Eleven. So 7-Eleven has some stuff here that the normal 7-Eleven doesn't have back at home. Some sandwiches. I'm a little sandwiched out already, so I'm gonna pass on that. Yeah, I'm over the sandwiches. Mm, we're just doing a little quick stroll through here. Yeah. Oh, this looks like my beanie. Everything's hella cheap here. 1300 uh, there's some shades for that. That'd be like five bucks, something like that. Oh, we need to get my boy some shades. Where are the shades at? So Francisco is using his Google Translate right now. 4,000 yen. Let's do it. Yeah. Hi. You want to sit front? You sit in the front. You sit, you sit in the front. You're the big boy, bro. All right, so we made it. If we didn't do this, we'd have to take a few trains and do some walking, so. I think this way is a little bit more direct. That taxi ride made it so much easier. Look, it's not packed right now. I don't know. Is Universal gonna be different out here? Is it gonna be easier? Less packed? I don't know, bro. You gotta find out. Back at home, it'd be crazy packed right now. Let's see. Let's see the vibes today, guys. Is this music copyright? 
It might be copyright. <laughs> yeah. It just sounds like orchestral music. The Guardians of the Galaxy uh, music. <laughs> you use this QR code? <laughs> Wait, I don't know, you might have used it, bro. Did you guys use the wrong one? <laughs> you know when your friends just joke so much and then it actually ends up happening? This is this is what happens, bro. Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> you used his? <laughs> I was like, yeah, we didn't buy your ticket. <laughs> Unless he scanned yours. <laughs> no, we we made it clear. Mine was the first, this is the second. Which one? <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Wait, what? Like, everyone speaks English here. Like, nah. They take all the workers, the workers, but the guy with yeah, the yeah, tickets some... spoke pretty good English. We tried. We tried to learn the language. Uh, it didn't go so well. A couple of phrases, but uh, not enough to survive. But look, it's everything is pretty orderly. You know, it is, it's uh, more packed than we thought it would be, but yeah. line's still going by pretty quick. The food looks pretty fresh. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Josh is saying that they're gonna understand English. I, as much as I would love that, I don't think that that's a. They take English in school. It's like when you take Spanish <laughs> in school. Like nobody pays attention during that shit. Yeah, but like it, it's not like an elective. Like where we could choose Spanish or like. Or you French. could just finesse the test real easy. Like. What do you guys think? No, you know what? We're gonna find, find out in real time right now. Yeah, we're we're about to find we're out. We're gonna watch. We're gonna watch our boy Josh see and try it. What happened? I'm gonna tell them you guys are guys jeans. Uh, whatever. <laughs> wow, so pretty. It looks so perfect. Food just landed. We got a little croissant. We got some coffee. Wanted to try this cake and a nice little salad. All right, we about to get on this parachute ride. We're about to go on this Jaws ride. It looks cool. It's a whole boat and everything. I think it's just gonna take us around. Hopefully I can get some cool footage for you guys. We waited like 30 minutes for churros, got to the front, and the person in front of us took the last two. So no shame. That's what it is. Alright. It's time to eat our first ramen meal. Got some gyoza, some fried rice. We just had an adventure hopping on like 15 million different trains to get here, so yeah. Well deserved meal right here. One of my favorite parts about Japan has to be the food, especially the quality of meats, ingredients, and all that stuff. You could tell, this is a very high quality meal. While we were there, we were also blessed to see Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji sometimes gets covered with clouds and it doesn't look as beautiful as it did the day that we saw it. This was a bit far from where we were staying, but it gave us a chance to explore different parts of Japan. This was one of my favorite parts of the trip, the Shibuya Crossing. If you guys didn't know, this is the highest populated crossing, I guess you could say in Japan or maybe even in the world. Seeing it from a bird's eye view makes you realize how small we are as individuals. Everybody looks like ants, honestly. Not only was the crossing amazing, the view was beautiful as well. I think this one was called Shibuya Sky, if I'm not mistaken. It was definitely worth it.
starting a new segment for the vlog today. I've been kind of on and off vlogging. Like I started at the beginning of the trip. Now it's kind of towards the middle and uh, I'm gonna start vlogging again just because we transferred to a lot of places and low key, this whole transportation system that they have out here, it's very confusing and adding a vlog to that would not be easy. So now that we have like a nice smooth little walk, I wanna pick up the camera, kind of update you guys with everything. Got the boys with me. What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up? And we are missing one. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Ah, uh, it was one of those situations, man. Freaking Raf Cat didn't wake up. Low, it went a little crazy, went a little crazy. And we tried to knock, we tried to ring his doorbell, did it like four times, and he didn't say anything. So we had to, we had to leave because we're going to Studio Ghibli right now. This is what, this is what Japan looks like right here. You walk on the left side, as I mentioned before, all the cab drivers are wearing like tuxedos. They got some driving gloves, everything. And all the vans look pretty cool too. For some reason, a lot of the cars that we have in the US, they, they look a little different out here. I don't know, they look cooler. Okay, one thing I respect out here is how clean the bathrooms are. Most of the bathrooms that we went into, pretty clean. I wanna say like 95% of them, super clean. So if you ever need to take a dump in public, no worries. You're not gonna see piss all over the toilet seat. It's nice, it's clean. The doors, like they go all the way down, so it's like private. Even the birds are happier here. They're not scared of us. The birds are happier? <laughs> <laughs> and even the parks. We were just talking about this. Like back at home, this would be probably littered with garbage. Homeless people with pants inside. Dude, look how clean this is. Yeah, everyone here is so happy. Like, they're all friendly and polite. They're Everyone's playing tennis on a Monday. This is a Monday at like 11 in the morning. So peaceful. Look at the storm drains too. They got cherry blossoms on there cherry blossoms on here details on details i'm kind of sad that we didn't get to check out any car meets out there because we didn't have any connections and we didn't know what was going on but we did see some pretty cool cars just walking around checking things out and i think that's one of the things that i really like about japan the builds are clean even the stock cars look cool for some reason they look like they got body kits on them even though they might not, I don't know. I know this was quick, but I hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog. I'll see you guys very soon for the next video. I'm out.